Hey y'all, welcome to a new vlog. It is currently Wednesday morning and I'm headed to the Barton Springs Spillway to meet my friend Nancy. I think we're gonna go on a walk and maybe take a dip. That's why I'm in my swimsuit this early in the morning. This morning's pretty cloudy. I feel like every other day it's been very sunny and I'm kind of sad about it because I'm like, I want to actually be hot enough to want to take a dip in the spillway. Yesterday I heard that the temperatures are dropping to like 85 next week, which is kind of crazy to go from like over 100 degrees to 85 so quickly um and i'm kind of in denial like does that mean summer's really ending i feel like i did not do as many like summer things here in austin that i wanted to so foggy it's so humid I know, it's so humid <laughs> it'll be nice on the water. yeah but it's so cloudy today i'm sad i should probably get my towel oh you park at lunef point and basically you have to like walk down these big stairs and then you'll see the lake and the city skyline. I'll show you guys, it's so pretty. But it's such a cloudy day today. Got my chacos on. I told Nancy to bring water shoes. Show them your water shoes. They're wearing flip flops. Well, J. Crew flip flops. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you're in Austin right now, you have to have water shoes. But also, like, my friends, like, don't even have water shoes they've been here for four years i'm like girls get on it yeah guys look how pretty look how pretty this is and they have like a little rope swing should we go off of it <laughs> so scary. i would not <laughs> but we see little fish and this part like closer to the spillway is a lot clearer i would say and just a lot more blue People say it's not blue, but I would consider this blue. It's definitely more blue in person. Okay, we're coming up on the spillway. I'm not really sure if we're like, you know, walking along the spillway the whole time, but this is where dogs play and it's so cute and it's right across from Barton Springs pool. Look at dog. <laughs> Probably feels so good. I know. Oh, wait, that's also true. So many little fishes. <gasps> oh, is it freezing? No, it's not bad. Uh, oh, but when you put your hands in, it's like. <laughs> <laughs> that felt so good. <laughs> that wasn't as bad as I thought that it would be. That felt really good. Oh, the dogs are so jealous. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that was great! Nancy lost her flip flop. Yeah, this is why you wear water shoes. <laughs> Get the chacos, guys. Got it's it. worth it. Here we go again. It's so pretty out. That was so refreshing. Like, I want to do that more often, but also... It was so nice. It's gonna get cold. I know. <laughs> why am I being so dramatic, though? It it's gonna get like 85 and then We're go right back up to 100. Crazy. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's so nice though. Yeah. Oh my god, the water is so clear. Today is hair washing day. <laughs> We're back home and I'm also starving. So I want to shower really quick and then make some breakfast. As you guys saw, I just did my nails because I wanted to film some stuff and my nails were like regular nail polish and they were chipped. So just did that, got that out of the way and now I am eating just like mango cut up. It's actually pretty close to lunchtime so I think I'm just gonna wait till then to eat a full meal. You guys know we've been touring houses lately and I filmed a bunch when I wasn't like vlogging my full day so I wanted to kind of compile them all and put them in this vlog because I know you guys loved the last one where I was house hunting so let's roll the clips. Our apartment lease ends on November 27th and we just got the notice that we have to tell them soon. That's a little bit stressful so we're definitely ramping it up. Surprisingly not that many houses have pools here in Austin even though it's so gosh dang hot. Honestly, 
honestly, by now, when I walk into a house, I instantly know if I'm going to like it or not. This wasn't a bad option, but not a great one. The primary was huge, and the master closet was very spacious, as well as the bathroom. House number two of the day absolutely blew me away. Not only is this kitchen stunning and has so much storage, this is the backyard, but this dining room, I immediately fell in love with all the skylights that brought in so much natural light. This house had a huge garage with a lot of workspace. There was a good amount of storage, and like I said, a lot of light, which is definitely important to me. I also loved this loft area. I thought it was very unique and definitely would make it my content room. My only two cons is that it had small bathrooms and that it directly faced an elementary school, which I don't know, I feel like traffic would be bad. It only gets better from here because this house was in such a good location, probably the closest to downtown that we've toured so far. Literally everything was brand new. The ceilings were so high. It had vaulted ceilings, so much natural light coming through. Faces east, which is huge because my dad is very adamant about me purchasing a home that faces is east he's superstitious or maybe it's feng shui i don't know this is like the living area kitchen very open concept there was an area for a dining room table but not too much space it had recessed lighting and huge windows it's crazy because two years ago i would have died for this house with the marble all over the bathrooms but i feel like it just looks a little bit too cold and sterile and now i feel like i have it in my mind that i want to fix her upper and kind of make it my own on this house hunting subject we are just getting so excited that um, Ryan told me about this home store that sells kind of like, what is it, scrap pieces or? No, it's like overstock. Okay, or overstock. Stuff. Yeah. And so he went in the other day. I think I was like out of town, but there's some really cool things there and I kind of want to check it out. So we're going to go and see what we can find. I mean, like we have no idea what we even like are looking for, but I thought it could just be a fun little thing to do and get excited about house hunting. These two mirrors aren't horrible for like a bathroom. 60 bucks each. They have doors and they're unfinished too, so you can stain them however you want. We're in the DVD section and we found High School Musical, but guys, they priced it for $1. I feel like that's, oh, this is the encore, wait. No, yeah. It's, yeah, it's like all of it and it's just $1. Like I'm very tempted to get this. Ryan loves his scary movies. Like there's a golf clinic here. Next to Curious George, should get this? <laughs> you want to. I also used to love this movie, The Ugly Truth. Very tempted guys, should I? It's $1, I feel like this is like, you know, yeah, we actually need a DVD player because Ryan left his Xbox in Georgia. I just found Mamma Mia, also $1, and a Hairspray, which is like one of my favorite freaking movies. And it's funny because Ryan does not like, what's it called? Musicals. musicals. <laughs> They're like all musicals. <laughs> Desperate Housewives was our quarantine show. <laughs> we were obsessed with it and Ryan literally just referenced Gabrielle Solis. <laughs> wow, look at that. Our icon. Wow. This is how it used to be, huh? <laughs> I know what you, you did and it makes me sick, remember? Oh my god, wow, that is something. You're going to tell? <gasps> <laughs> yeah, I do kind of. <laughs> wow, that's cool. Guys, I have to get this. I'm so excited. Even though we don't have a freaking DVD player, but I guess we could like easily buy one on Amazon. You think it's fine? Yeah. You'll go to a better home that hasn't watched it yet. <laughs> Although I feel like if I rewatched that show, I would not have even remembered anything. Like there are just every episode, there's things happening. Good morning, y'all. It is Thursday. We are up bright and early to go on a walk with my friend Andy and her dog Daisy. We're probably just gonna do like Auditorium Shores Loop, possibly get box shot. <laughs> I didn't really bring that up to her just yet, but I'm kind of craving a chai.
hair and makeup is done for the day. Yesterday I didn't do my hair or makeup and I felt, you know, not very productive. So today we're turning that around. This is the outfit. I'm wearing a top from Frame and my jean skirt from Stradivarius. And I'm actually going to meet my, let's see, G, G, G Little. Um, not to be that like crazy sorority girl that's been out of college for four years, but <laughs> she was in my sorority and she was in my fam. So I'm meeting her because she just moved to Austin. So I'm really excited to have her here. Um, and we're going to go to Yoroko. We'll get some lunch. They have like some really good hand rolls. It's like one of my favorite places to get a quick lunch if I like don't have anything in the house and I'm craving sushi because it's not like a full sushi roll dinner. It's very like light, refreshing. It's definitely more on the cheaper side than like a full like, you know, couple sushi rolls. Um, but it gets the job done and it satisfies that craving. Um, so I'm excited to go there and see her. And then once I come home, I'll probably film some TikToks since I have my makeup and hair done. And I'm feeling like really motivated today. So hopefully that is carried through throughout the day because I know when it gets to like 1 or 2 p.m., it hits that midday slump. It is so hard to find the motivation to film. Um, so hopefully we can get past that. I do have laundry to do. I feel like I could do that while I'm like in my midday slump. So I'm like moving my body, but not really have to use like any brain power. I also always forget to put on earrings. So let me go do that. What are you, my G, 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 little? Yeah, you're G, that's, G, what G, I, G. <laughs> that's what I keep saying. I just told my boyfriend, I was like, yeah, she's my G, 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 little. She was the first, or the last little that I met, or the yeah. last person in my fam that I met um, before I graduated, but we're at Springdale General for Yoroko. Okay, so I got sake toro, which is salmon. Um, this is Hamatoro, I think that's yellowtail, and then spicy tuna. What'd you get? I got hamachi, spicy tuna, and another one I forgot. <laughs> she has a whole list of Austin restaurants because she's yeah. new, so we're crossing <laughs> one off. Good morning, it is Saturday. I feel like whenever I'm vlogging these days, I just kind of want to pick up the camera when I'm feeling it. I kind of want to get back to when like YouTube was a passion of mine and it didn't feel like something I had to do, you know? So I only want to pick up my camera when I'm excited about vlogging and I'm feeling that today. So we are starting off the day by playing pickleball. It is pretty early in the morning, hence my morning voice. It's 7.47 um, and we are going to go play pickleball with my friend Nancy and her husband Andy and then we might go to Deep Eddy Pool. I'm not really sure. If we don't go there, we're still probably going to swim because I know we're going to be really sweaty after playing pickleball. So we might just like um so in our apartment and honestly i feel like we just need to use all the amenities because i feel like we won't have them for much longer i don't know what we're doing tonight like i feel like this weekend's pretty chill i feel like all of my weekends have been really really chill lately which i don't hate you know even yesterday i turned to ryan and i was like can you believe that people are out right now and then he was like yeah people are like just going out because it was like 10 10 30 i think and i was like oh my god <laughs> Like, I'm, go I'm getting in bed at 10.30 on Friday. Um, so it's crazy because, like, I know that just happens when you're getting older. I don't know what this bump is doing, but um, I feel like all my friends are kind of in that stage two where they're just like, well, maybe not all my friends, but most of my friends are. And so there's no one, like, really asking me to go out, so I don't really have a desire to. Obviously, because if I'm going to go out, like, I want to have a really fun night with my friends. So anyways, I mean, hopefully we'll have some girls nights in the future, but I feel like a lot of my friends are also going through um, just like life changes. And so it's a it's a interesting time, I guess, but we're going to head out. Um, I'm wearing this really cute aloe set. Let me show you. I can't remember if I vlogged getting this, but I already had pretty much the set in black. The top was different, but I love this skirt. It's just so freaking flattering. I'm obsessed with it. So I decided to get it in another color. I think this one's probably limited edition, so I will link it. And then I have my favorite little white sneakers on. I think they're New Balance. I'm gonna do better this time, I swear. I'm gonna find a new girlfriend in here. <laughs> Last time we played was our first time playing pickleball, and I literally went like at least 20 times where I missed it, <laughs> and it was so embarrassing. So I wanna go earlier and hopefully get there before them and maybe like practice a little bit, because I'm just like, why can't my brain comprehend that the ball is right there? <laughs> got here and it looks like the courts are pretty full 
and I think people are just getting here right now too. But I think we just might wait it out and see if somebody is close to being done. But guys, we're in and we did not have to wait that long, so that was nice. Look at my pickleball paddles, they're so cute. I got them on Amazon. And it was like 50 something for a four pack, which I felt like it, it was. was a pretty good deal because like, no, they're selling like $70 for two. Yeah. I mean, I don't think these are brand name, but so cute. I'm ready to play. <laughs> and I practiced before, so hopefully I don't suck as bad. <laughs> you do not suck. You're telling me I didn't miss it like literally so many times. I miss time. it so many times too. I'm <laughs> just as bad, so. <laughs> yeah, it is. my water bottle matches my set. It's not even hot out here, it's just humid. So I'm sweating. We're done and I'm sweating. But it was a good workout. I burned 500 calories. Couldn't go one day without his flipped coffee. Did it yesterday? No. Oh. Very. <laughs> Good morning. My good girl. Sophie's very sad that we're leaving her again. <laughs> we're actually going to Deep Eddy Pool, which I'm so excited about because I have not yet been there. It was on my summer bucket list, so I'm glad I'm scratching it off before temperatures drop and fall comes. I have an Amazon swimsuit on. It has this like cutout. It's like a one piece. And I'm wearing these Amazon linen shorts. And I always have my water shoes on. It's so blue. Until September 30th, all public pools are like waved, the bees waved, except for Burton Creek Pool, of course, but we're gonna eat lunch at Pool Burger. It's just literally right up the hill from Deep Eddy Pool. Back from Deep Eddy Pool, and I guess we can reveal the tan line. I don't think that's actually that horrible. I forgot what this tan line was from, but I tan so easily. 10 minutes in the sun and I'm two shades darker, which isn't a bad thing because I really do love my tan. But I'm gonna take an everything shower today. Um, the hair needs to be washed, obviously. And I think I'm gonna actually like take my time shaving. Like there's this shaving gel I'll show it to you guys. Foaming shave gel. So I kind of want to try this out. <laughs> and I um, had Flamingo razors too. We have about an hour. I think Ryan's gonna hit some balls. Um, and I'm gonna chill because I am so pooped. Like, we played pickleball and then went straight to the pool. 